Welcome to Midlife Customs at Craig's Garage. In this video, I narrow my first 9 inch housing. If you like working on cars and watching DIY videos, then you should hit the subscribe button because that is what I post on this channel. Please take a quick minute to read this disclaimer. I am not a professional, nor do I claim to be. Now that I have it narrowed and ready to go, I figured I'd use the old rear end and clean off the perches and find the right angle and location for the new perches. And I use the angle finder to find the pinion angle. And there's several that you can use. And I will add a link to these two in the description down below. So now comes the time to try to set my pinion angle. And I am no professional at this, but everything I see says that you take your transmission angle and you do the opposite with your pinion angle. This being a leaf spring setup on my 66 Mustang, you're always going to wind up with a negative angle. So the pinion is going to be facing down by some percentage because of a thing called axle wrap, which actually raises your axle under acceleration. What I decided to try to do is actually just take the old eight inch that came out of the Mustang that was set factory and place the angle finder on the perch. And then I would turn it until it zeroed out. And I did that by just using a bottle jack to lift it up until I seen the angle finder zero out and then I stopped. I also did the same thing on the pinion shaft side to side, which I don't really know if it was necessary, but I figured why not do the same thing. So I did that until it zeroed out as well. Now that I had everything zeroed out, I took a couple different squares and just seeing what kind of reading I can get. And I got 3.7 on this one. Then I switched it out to a little speed square. And surprisingly, I got the exact same reading of 3.7. And notice that the rear axle is upside down. The other thing I did was flip the rear end right side up and put the angle finder on the underside of the perch. Using the jack to do the exact same thing until it zeroed out. And once again I did the same thing on the pinion shaft until that zeroed out as well. Taking the same two tools I wanted to see what angle I got and I got 4.3 using that and the speed square same same reading once I got my readings I added a um, gasket to the 9 inch housing so that I can place the center section on it fastening it down with a couple nuts to keep it in place while I turn it to set it for my purchase. Then I use the jack again until I reached the angle I wanted. And I actually went with four degrees splitting the difference between the 3.7 and 4.3. And I just double checked that before I moved on. I went with the Moroso Spring Perches, the 85090. They're really nice. They are uh, got the three inch axle width for the tube, and they're also two and a half inch wide, which fits really nice on the Mustang Leaf Springs. And I'll put a link to these in the description below. So I used this combination square so that I could use it to set the depth 
at an inch and a quarter and make a mark halfway through the spring perch. I did this so that it could help me set it where I want it on the rear end and I'll show how I did that in a moment. So after doing some measuring and looking it up, the 66 Mustang leaf spring perches are set 43 inches apart and that's center to center. I use the narrowing tool again so that I can measure off the pinion center slot and I can cut the distance I need in half and go halfway towards the driver's side and halfway towards the passenger side and make my marks where I want my perches located. Now that I had the mark where I wanted to put my perch, I could use the combination square once again to set it exactly where that line was and then I can grab the perch place that on top and match it with the mark that I put in earlier. And once I had it at the right location, I could use the angle finder again and just turn it until I got it to zero out. Once it was zeroed out, I could actually use the uh, marking lines from earlier and put a line on the perch. Then I just did the same thing on the other side. Once I had them where I wanted them, I just held them in place with some magnets. After I had them securely held in place, I just put a few tacks on each side on each perch. And after I had them tacked in, I did another full mock-up just to see how it all fit. On my next video, I start work on reassembling the third member. If you found this video helpful, please hit subscribe and leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.